What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Ari. Welcome back to AM Island Vibes. Your FFB, your favorite fat boy on YouTube. Today we're live in a wait, live affected in the direct with a do rail. Light skin, please. Oh my gosh, that hurt. I'm gonna cap. That shit just hurt. Anyway, hope you guys are doing good. Today we're gonna be doing a little reaction video to Young Sauce Don got my Jamaican brethren. Yeah, Rasta boy. So we're gonna be reacting to him. This one called Animated Story. He slapped me in the front of the entire club. Funny story for me, I have for you guys at the end of this video. So stay tuned to hear how I got slapped. In the front of the classroom as well. Well, my one was in a full classroom, like probably 50% capacity of the classroom was there. I got slapped, alright? So I'm gonna tell you guys where my one was after it, young Don told his one. Alright, but if you guys are new to the channel, man, smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below if you guys wanna see more reaction videos from me. Alright, with that being said, let's get into the reaction video! By the time he saw me, it was too late. Get over here! <laughs> <laughs> So this story takes place during my final year of high school back in Jamaica. It was the same year I got suspended for selling candy during class, which, if you haven't seen uh, that... Young Don was one of them niggas. Young Don was one of them niggas. Listen, everybody who used to sell candy in school, let me tell you, let me tell you the classic, classic trait. All of them had a G-Shop, a jazz sport backpack, and clocks. But watch, listen, all my niggas know, if you sell candy, you had a G-Shop, a Jamsport backpack, and some clocks. You had one of these. You might, if you didn't have all three, you had one of those things I mentioned during high school. The candy guy always had the money, you feel me? Link in the description. I had just gone back from lunch, and I was sitting in my seat, waiting for class to start. So I'm there chilling when one of my boys, Kimani, shows up and takes his seat beside me. So we're there chopping it up. Kimani! That he kept scratching his chin as we talked. At first I ignored it, but eventually it got to the point where it was all I was looking at. Like, I didn't even know what he was talking about anymore. <laughs> so I asked him, yo, why, why you keep scratching your chin like that? You, you good? He stops talking and then he starts laughing. So now I'm confused. He sees the confusion and then he realizes nobody told me about B word. So he proceeds to explain. B word, B -word was a game that a group of guys would play during school where you would agree that if you say a word that starts with the letter B around anyone else in the group, they would have permission to slap the everlasting life out of your face. It Listen, we used to play different. We used to do this. And we had to stop playing it because people, anyway, I got punched one time. What we used to do is you used to put your hand like this. And if you move your hand from your chin, you getting punched in your jaw. We punch you getting punched. Boom! You getting punched. Or slap. Like he like he defined. The B one, I can't I, I can't remember how it went for us. But we had a game where we had B word and they would slap you too. But you have to do something to get to avoid getting slapped. Let me hear what you gotta say. Like to make a, a slap in the face is known as a box. Thus, say a B word, get a box. Simple. Here's the catch though. Uh, if you say a word that begins with a B and you acknowledge it by scratching your chin, then nobody can slap you. Which explained okay. why Kamani kept scratching his chin. Now, okay. I had never heard of a game like this. It sounded like a terrible idea. So, of course, I immediately asked uh, Jordan because when else would I ever? Get the opportunity to, slap, to slap my boys around with no fear of retaliation. Of course, I would also be putting myself at risk, but yeah, boy. I felt fairly confident. Boy, beef. Scratching kid. Big beef. So, with a lock in the bar, yeah, I was it. inducted into the B word group. There were about seven guys. It is, and this is how you sign off. Sign off. Uh, sign off. In the group. And right away, I had a target on my back. Yeah. I was first meet. 
least experienced, most vulnerable. I was like a, like a, like a baby, like a baby turtle. And these guys were all like, whatever hunts baby turtles. Didn't take long for them to catch me slipping. I was outside in the corridor talking to one of my other classmates, a civilian. When I said a B word, what was the word? Who knows? Book, banana, booty. Could have been anything. What I do know is that I didn't scratch my chin. Calcone! I had been slapped with the force of a thousand suns. Once I gathered myself and turned around to see who had violated my face in such a manner, to my surprise, it was Kamani. At first I felt betrayed because we were good friends, but right then and there I realized okay, that there are know. no friends in being. No, there's not. There are only those who slap and those who get those who get slapped. slapped. Straight and up. in that moment I decided I am the one who slaps. That's it? Yo, oh. if that is not how every anime protagonist starts okay. off, bro, like you get betrayed by a friend, I don't know what is. Now, side note, in the last video, I asked y'all to hit the like button, and y'all went crazy, man. Over 100k likes. I don't even know if I ever got that many over recording, okay. man. Right? At and with bloodlust in my eyes, I started to hunt for my first victim. Oh, by the way, if if somebody, if like, say you hit them and they did the uh, scratch, I, I can't remember if it was scratch, but I'm going to say scratch, and you slapped them, you owed them a slap. And then I saw him. <clears throat> it was technical design class. The teacher was almost never there. It was the perfect setup. I sat two seats to the left of him with my head on the desk, pretending to be asleep. But... I had one eye open, just enough to see if he was scratching his chin. But his guard was down, and it was only a matter of time before he said a B word. And as soon as he said it, I sprung up, arm popped back. By the time he saw me, it was too late. No, man. John, you went. You're supposed to sneak up after you ask me for some man, some shit on him. <laughs> more. So I continued to hunt. I claimed two more bodies by the time school was over. One of them was Kamani. That one felt good. Yeah. School would end and we would all go home. And that was that for today. While I was home, all I could think about was B word. I was even scratching my chin at the dinner table. Of course, my mom sees this and asks what's wrong with my chin. At which point, I'll come up with some kind of excuse because first rule of B word, never talk about B word. The next day, we get to school and B word is still in full effect. It doesn't end until you break the pact with everyone you were playing yes. with. So you show up to school ready for smoke. So the day goes on and I am struggling to catch someone slipping. Everyone was on point. Fast forward and it's the end of the day and then the entire senior class gets called to the auditorium for graduation rehearsal. Right away, I'm excited because if I was gonna catch someone slipping, now would be the time. Plus, all the crowd it made for good cover, it was the perfect storm. So we get to the auditorium, I scan the crowd, and then I spot him. Clarence. Still on my hit list. In fact, Clarence was the only dude in the group that nobody had caught. I started to make my way through the crowd until I was within earshot of his voice. He was talking. Good. So I'm listening. Waiting. It was kind of hard to hear, but I was determined. And then I heard it. Yo, chicken curry is bomb though. Connection 10 out of 10 execution. I had done what no man had done before. I caught Clarence slipping. 
So I'm standing there, basking in the spoils of victory, when I notice Clarence staring at me. Clarence slapping you back. And he's looking at me like he wanna fight. So I'm like, yo, yo, hey, I caught you. You know what you said. What are you talking about, bro? I didn't say a B word. You did, you did. Bro, come on, you No, I didn't! What do you think I said? What do you think I said? You said, clear as day, yo, curry chicken is bomb. Everybody heard it. I know I heard it. No! I said, yo, who are you taking to prom? Hmm? <laughs> you ain't say that, bro. Yes, I did! And at that point, I realized I made a mistake because See, that's how you Clarence count. was from the country. Aha! The Jamaicans. Big you know the them niggas. from the country. Brawling. These aren't normal people, bro. They big. Keep your head still so I can get you back. See, I told y'all. Keep your head. Listen, it's get you. But listen, I owe you on box. Just like how he gets him at the wrong time. Clarence owe. Don a bop. Keep your head still. Don't move. Getting your head ring off, boys. Stop playing. Nah, I ain't about to go out like that. Cause now there are twice as many people around as there was before. Plus, I still kind of felt like he said a B word and he was like lying or something, you know. So I say, yo, I heard what I heard, but how about this? Let's talk about it after rehearsal. Nah, we're doing this right now. So I peace out. I go inside the auditorium and find my seat. I figured it was the safest place. I accepted that I was probably going to get slapped into the shadow realm. But hopefully, by the time the rehearsal was over, he would have cooled off some and there'd be less witnesses. So I'm sitting in my seat, probably talking to whoever was beside me, when I hear something coming. Excuse me. Watch out, coming through, move, excuse me. I look to my right, my heart drops. Cause all I see is this the big, big crunchy dude. tough countryman bulldozing his way down my eye. Excuse me, move, move, get out my way, move. Bro, I'm sweating, I'm trapped. All the seats around me were taken. I couldn't get out. I was done for. Yo, son. I said I'm getting you back. Right now. Clarence. Please. He pulls back his crusty, callous farm hands. And in one fell swoop, Clarence beams me across my face. This dude slapped me so hard that to engage all of my core muscles just so I didn't fall out the chair. So there I sat in my chair, Face fighting back the tears. Eyes closed. Didn't want to look at anybody. Didn't want anyone to look at me. Clarence went back to his seat, and I just sat there. Face swollen, ego broken. I have gotten what I deserved. There was nothing I could do. Yeah, I'll stop These are the rules of the game. B word giveth, and, and B word taketh, taketh away. Slap him back. That's all. Just to be prepared to get on slap back. That's all. Big fight. Demons know what I like. I might. Okay, I like that one. That, 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 that remind, me, remind me of a lot of my childhood, right? So now let me tell you my own, right? So I was in primary school. I ain't gonna lie. We was doing something. I think I did something to this guy, right? Anyway, he was shorter than me, right? So he, he probably did catch me right here. Right here, he taught me. Every time. So I think they was teasing him or something like that. Then me trying to be cool at the point in time. Um, I joined and I started teasing him. I think I did something. I think I hit him or something, or I did something. I can't remember what I did. Let me tell you what this guy did. This guy looked around, right? Grip one chair, right? He gripped the chair, put the chair in the front of me, right? 
walk on the chair, look down on me like this, and slap me. I swear to God, this nigga stand on the chair, slap me, walk down, put the chair back, and then walk in the class. Everybody just look at me like, boy, that dude just slap you like that. And I know what you're probably thinking, Ori, did you just, Ori, you watch this guy, grip a chill, put it in the front of you, stand on the chill, and just slap you and walk in the class. Yeah, I did. It didn't click on to be like, hey, Ori, protect your face, this nigga trying to slap the shit out of you. It didn't, that didn't register to me. All I know is, was, hey, it is what it is, right? That's the time I get boxed. It's a little quick story. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Smash that like button, man. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe, comment, all that good shit. With that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Be happy, be blessed, and remember the world is yours. Peace.